Hi, it's Kitty, and welcome back to our channel, or welcome if you're new. So you can subscribe, the button is down below. It means so much to me. I post beauty, lifestyle, and videos over here, of course. And today's video, I'm super excited about. It's going to be another palette bingo, but this one I'm going to be doing slightly different. And I am barefaced for that reason, because we don't know how this is going to turn out. But so basically, I saw somebody, which I will leave whoever did this, whoever I saw so do this first down below i don't know who created this but if i can find the creator i'll link them down below um as well and so today's palette bingo i'm going to be doing a palette bingo on all my Too faced eyeshadows i believe the person i saw did anastasia shadows and if you would like me to do that with my collection because obviously everyone has a different collection per shadows um and stuff i decided to pick Too faced because i don't really use my Too faced palettes that much anymore and i have four i used to have five which is besides the point as well but that's such a creative idea you kind of just take all these and do a palette bingo with those and if you don't know what a palette bingo is it's basically where you pick a certain amount of shades i usually stick with five and you create a look with all those shades obviously a palette bingo so you really don't know how the look is going to turn out and i just think this is always a fun and this always sparks creativity with me i'll link my other palette bingos down below but i've done so many i've also done them on igtv so i'll try to link those down below if i have them in a playlist i might I might not. I know, but I'm really excited to get into this. So let's just get right into it. So I'm going to talk about the palettes that we're going through today. This is my Too Faced collection. So first off, we have the OG, which is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I haven't used this palette, I don't think, in a while. So it'll be fun to grab this again. As you can see, this is like one of my, I think this is my third palette I ever owned. And it was my palette I used in the beginning of my YouTube channel. If you've seen any of my palette videos recently, you know I've said that. And so I have lots of pans in the shadows. I think I have three pans, four pans, no, five pans. Wow, Katie. And then the next one we are dipping into is the Chocolate Bonbons palette. I got this for my birthday, I want to say a few years ago. I think I got it for my birthday. And that's what these colors look like. I really love the shades Molasses Chip and Sensual sheets a lot of times I will use as a highlight shade and then the next one we have is the peanut butter and jelly palette I haven't hit any pans on this this will actually be a good the pan that palette in the future but that's besides the point again but this is basically their peanut butter themed palette and fun fact I actually hate peanut butter so I don't even know why I have this palette kind of smells like it yeah it has like peanut butter smell kind of makes me nauseous so that's a fun time. Then we have my favorite Too Faced palette ever. I just love this palette. I mentioned this in the packaging I love video, which I think you're seeing before this one. But it just looks like this. And this is my favorite Too Faced palette. I definitely think, I definitely said in one of my videos that I didn't think Too Faced shadows were worth it. I definitely don't think the OG palettes are worth it. But when it comes to this one, I think this one is definitely 100% worth it. So yeah, there's my mini Too Faced review. So basically how this is going to go down is I kind of just labeled out for me so I'm not counting when I do the randomizing and stuff. But we are going to be picking between numbers one and 57 so i have numbered these see this will be one this will be 16 actually how it's going to work out this isn't one this isn't 16 but in the palettes i will have that number already picked out so basically that's one that's 16 for this palette so we're this one will be our starting palette this one so this one goes one to 16 this one goes 17 to 32. This one goes from 33 to 41. And then this one goes from 42 to 57. So I think I will use Alexa today to generate our numbers. I just feel like it's the easiest way to do it. I don't feel like getting out my iPad and doing the number generator on there. I kind of just feel like taking Alexa and doing it that way. I feel like it'd be more fun, but I also have it mapped up out in my little notebook so I can just count in the palette. So I know which palette is 17 to 32 or 33 to 41. I kind of mapped those out already, but I just thought this would be fun. So we're going to swatch them. I have nothing on my wrist today. No complications as you Okay, so let's get to swatching. Five shades I will pick and I do have a pan that palette. So if I don't get like a white shed setting shade or the perfect pre shade, I will use colors out of that. But I only allow myself to dip into like pan that palettes, if you know what I mean. Alexa, pick a random number from 1 to 57. Okay, so first number is 4. I don't know if you could hear that. So we are going to be dipping into the OG. I haven't looked at this palette. Well, I did when I 
Oh, okay, that's, oh, that shade. We're starting a little dramatic. And that is Black Forest. This would be a good outer corner color. Honestly, I really hope, this is kind of a wild card because I really hope we don't get all dark colors. I will be not happy. Okay, okay. It's not terrible. Here, I need to do a better swatch. But it's definitely not what I was hoping to start with. I mean, let's just hope we get some lighter shades. Alexa, volume five. Alexa, pick a number from one to 57. Here's a number between one and 57. It's 44. Okay, 44. So we're dipping into our OG palette. Or we're dipping into the chocolate gold palette now. So 44. Rich Girl, which I love. I don't play with silvers that much, so this might be, oh, it's like a silvery gold. Oh, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed, like it's rose gold, oh my god, I feel myself. I love rose gold shades, and that's like basically what that is, so. Okay, we got a shade I can work with. <laughs> when you get one shade you're comfortable with, it's always the best. Okay, so now we're going to, to go into the Bomb Pads palette, and we're picking, oh, this is a perfect shade. This is Mocha, which is going to be a good free shade. I don't know if it will be to start off, but it'll definitely, oh, actually, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Nice crease color. Alexa, pick a random number between 1 and 57. Your random number between 1 and 57 is 11. 11, so back to the OG. So this one is Strawberry Bon Bon. Can't really see it, but it's gonna be, it's like a pinky shade, so it'll be a nice setting color. It's not usually how to use this hat, but we'll do it today. So that's one, two, three, four, so I just need one more. Alexa, pick a random number between one and 57. The random number between one and 57 is 33. Oh, perfect, we got all palettes. So 33 is actually the first shade, which is Spread the Love, which could be a good setting color, could be a good crease shade. It's not what I would typically pick for a crease shade, but we're gonna work with it today. So we got an interesting mix. Some of you can't see, but I definitely am more happy with like the look. We didn't get anything too, too crazy. So yeah, I guess I will start with my eyes first today, which is kind of weird because usually I don't do that. I usually hate doing that, but I'll do it today. So I guess I'll start with setting. So I'm going to take my Too Faced palette, take Strawberry Bon Bon, because that's like one of the shades that we got. And just take a little bit of that and I'm going to use that to set my lid. I remember using a shade like this before um, when I did my first pan that palette ever. I remember using a pinky shade for a while. I am going to dip into my pan the palette real quick just to get like a white base. I always just find that looks a lot better. So I'm just going to dip into Blanc and as you can see that shade is almost panned and when the palette update will be coming soon. I actually probably should film it. I don't know if I'll film it today but I definitely need to film it within the next week because I like to post that on the first since I haven't been doing favorites videos. I just haven't had like I found that this time around I've had favorites that I like but overall I haven't really had too many favorites if that makes any sense. And then I think I am going to try starting out with Mocha, see how I feel about it. So, go into the Bon Bon's palette and take Mocha. So just dip in and tap it off. I'm only going to do a very light hand of this just because I don't want it to be like too heavy too fast. So I'll start out lighter and then get heavier. So it's actually like a pretty good shade to use as a transition. It's not usually I'd start with because it is darker than the usual transition, but I think it'll work. It's not terribly dark, it's just not what I, it's not terribly dark, it's just not what I would start out with. I would start out like very warm or just lighter and then go in with like something like this. But you know, that's what pan the pellets are there for going out of your comfort zone. That's definitely why I like doing them, why I continue to do pan the pellets. Do they do get me to get out of my comfort zone and use colors I wouldn't normally use. Like the green one I did for my first pan the palette. That was like my first experimentation, I would say. I am going to go into my pan the palette and take terracotta to warm it up a bit because I think that is just not as warm and just I need like a lighter shade in there to kind of blend it. Yeah, I feel like I went way lighter in the second eye, but I feel like this will just blend everything in together. And actually what I could have done is gone into this palette and since I didn't use the Spread the Love shade, I'm going to take that and kind of go on the base with my crease. And that's just gonna blend everything. Now I'm going to go in with the Rich Girl shade, which I really like 
and I'm going to start out with pure pigment, which it does look more silver in the lid where it didn't originally. So I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of this NYX glitter glue. There's like a clog in there, so that's a fun time. And I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of this, do this pretty quickly. I'm just going to put this on the base of my lid. Like so, I already had some on there, so it kind of makes it shade already more intense. And I'm gonna go back into it and I'm going to do that. But yeah, it just gives it like a silvery type look, which I don't always go for. So that's kind of fun. Do like a different style kind of look, even though it's not too different. And then I'm just going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, so that's how that looks like so far. I can always add to it later. I'm gonna take the Black Forest shade and I'm gonna take it on this brush I got in my Ipsy. I'm only gonna do like one tap of it. I want it to be very light since we already have stuff in that corner. And I'm just gonna do very light tapping of it. Kind of just smokes it out. I've used that shade. I've now used that shade. Did that, did the... Uh, did that. Yeah, we've pretty much done everything that I did to. That's a look so far. I definitely think I do want to add stuff to it, but I feel like that's a pretty good look so far. So I'm probably gonna watch a YouTube video, not like film my face. I'm gonna go put on the rest of my makeup and I will be back with a final look. That was fun, different, and the color palette was fine today. Okay, so my makeup is done and everything and I love how this look turned out. I'm gonna give you a close up, but this is what the eye turned out to be. I was kind of nervous because I was at first getting dark colors, but of course that always happens in palette bingo. I always get nervous at first because I get dark colors, but I love how it turned out. It's like a very silvery look. This actually gave me grad prom vibes and stuff, definitely grad vibes. So maybe I'll do something like this for my graduation, uh, 2020 graduation in 2021. <laughs> yeah, but I really like how it turned out out and stuff and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give a thumbs up i thought this was a diff different style of a palette bingo i even did like a different lip i haven't used this lip in a while it is color poppy carefully lines unfortunately you can't get it anymore the og november lip i'm calling it og because this was back in 2015 or 16 i think this was like one of my first color pop purchases on my own. So that's fun. My hair looks kind of crazy, but we're gonna avoid that. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and be sure to comment down below what you want to see next. What what do you want to see next? What other palette bingos you would like to see for me? And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>